Okay, welcome back. In this final video, I'm going to show you now how to automate a little bit your drafting work. So we've gone through and we've set up a few styles. Maybe you took the time to set up your title block as well. Um, and now you want to be able to reuse this drafting environment all over the place. Well, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to delete some of the things I don't need. I don't need these standard dimensions. Okay. The other thing I'm going to do, though, is interestingly enough, I'm going to leave my dimensions, my automatic composite dimensions here. Or, you know what, let's delete those as well. I'm going to go here and go back to composite dimensions and just start it fresh because I don't want any added geometries in this. I want to just have ordinate dimensions here from my view origin, which is perfect. We have my view origin here. We should probably go and add that origin here. So I'm going to right click edit detailing. I'll go ahead and, pardon me, add my symbol. If I click up here and I type O on my keyboard, it will go find the origin. That's kind of nice. It just looks at it alphabetically, which is cool. We'll go set this up as well to be right on that zero, right? Perfect. And now I'm going to do something magical. I'm going to right click on this view and I'm going to edit the set. When I go to edit the set, this is what's projected and I'm going to remove the reference to that 3D plate and validate. Okay, got to get rid of that dimension too. Notice the origins are there. Our main view is here. Our side view, side view is here. I'm going to save this. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my plate into my templates folder. In all reality, you would probably have this document in your project template startup or in your company templates directory. But for simplicity of this tutorial, this is just to show you how to create this automation. I'm going to call this eSize with DIMMs. Okay? And I'm going to save all that. Now, how do we use that? Like this. I right click on my part. I go to drafting. Instead of using the standard templates here, I can go choose E size with DIMMs and watch what happens. Boom. We have our standard view with our standard drilling dimensions out of the box, automatic. And your origins are defined in all the views. Your styles are defined as well. So I can come in here and say, you know what, I need to put some critical dimensions on right here and right here. And that's maybe the, these three dimensions are the only thing that I needed to add. Perfect. I'm done. I can send this out to the floor to start having it manufactured. 